if you want to know the best British movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. I want to be your new headline act. Where have you played before? Nowhere. This starts at the Café de Paris. Me. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. What a lovely surprise. Sorry, I'm a little early. Would you rather I waited downstairs? No, don't be silly. Come in. The Last Letter from Your Lover is a romantic drama film directed by Augustine Frizzle and stars Felicity Jones, Callum Turner, Joe Alwyn, and Shailene Woodley. The answer lies in the past and must be uncovered in this charming throwback to classic romance. As a journalist tries to track down a series of love letters with the forbidden affair at its heart, a lifelong mystery unfolds. With romance striking in her real life too, ambitious Ellie must find the line between past and future. Jennifer. Number nine. Can you fight with only one arm? Oh, yes. If I had someone left to fight. The King's Man is a period action spy film directed by Matthew Vaughn and stars Ray Fiennes, Gemma Arterton, Rice Ifans, and Matthew Good. Bringing the popular Kingsman franchise back to the big screen, The King's Man dives deep into the past to embark on an origin tale. Exploring the beginnings of the gentleman spy organization, we witness how one man must race against time to stop a criminal mastermind and ruthless war that will cause millions of deaths. Shola, do you really think a knife can beat a bullet? This is how people are fighting nowadays. Now clean yourselves up before this afternoon's appointment. Number eight. What are you doing, Mr. Wayne? What do you want me to, I don't Get understand. Out. Oh yes, sorry, right, yes, of course, sorry, I apologize. The Electrical Life of Lewis Wayne is a biographical comedy drama film directed by Will Sharp and stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Claire Foy, Andrea Riseborough, and Toby Jones. Exploring what it means to be an artist, as well as questioning their existence and their power within, this biopic follows extravagant painter Lewis Wayne, whose psychedelic pictures of cats shaped the century he wandered in. As we learn to understand how art defines one's life and love, the iconic Wayne becomes an unsung hero of his time. Well, it doesn't matter what I was doing, does it? Yes, no, sorry, of course. Um, it's just, I have so many sisters that sometimes I forget that it's... Were you painting something? Well, that's none of your business, Mr. Wayne. Number seven. Just need to stay calm, all right, yeah? Take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. What am I going to do? Boiling Point is a drama film directed by Philip Barantini and stars Stephen Graham. Brilliantly sticking to the premise of its title and filmed in one shot, Boiling Point explores what happens when someone reaches the maximum one can take without exploding. It's the fullest and busiest night of the year for the chef of a famous restaurant, and tensions within the crew rise with the arrival of inspectors and guests who demand more and more ridiculous dishes. We just need to take it one step at a time. Okay. All right? Yeah? On top of it. No, 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 Number six. They are circling us. Didn't you know? Don't you read? It seems they're circling just me. Not you. Just me. Spencer is a historical psychological drama film directed by Pablo Lorraine and stars Kristen Stewart, Timothy Spall, Sean Harris, and Sally Hawkins. Elevating its main cast to the level of Hollywood's top names, Spencer subtly tells the end of a fairy tale for Princess Diana in the early 90s, as she decides that her marriage to Prince Charles isn't working. Knowing that she must veer from a path that would put her in line to be queen, she realizes a traumatizing holiday is on the horizon. There has to be two of you. you know, there's, there's two of me, there's two of father, two of everyone. There's the real one, and the one they take pictures of. Number five. And he saw finger marks still on the paint. He say time lost its meaning. The Dig is a drama film directed by Simon Stone and stars Carey Mulligan, Ray Fiennes, Lily James, and Johnny Flynn. Striking beautifully hard with astonishing performances from its leading cast, with perfect chemistry and the breakthrough visuals of the English countryside, The Dig explores the ambivalence of Britain's dark past and its consequences for an uncertain future. 
we follow a wealthy woman who hires an amateur archaeologist to excavate a buried object on her land that turns out to be a historic discovery. It occurs to me that you might unearth human remains. Yeah, that's possible. We're digging down to meet the dead. Number four. It's a bit old-fashioned for some, but I won't do nothing to it. If you don't like it, you can find somewhere else. It's perfect. Last Night in Soho is a psychological horror film directed by Edgar Wright and stars Thomas and Mackenzie, Anya Taylor-Joy, Matt Smith, and Terrence Stamp. If you let the past in, you have to deal with its consequences in the present. This smart and colorful hit from the cult director finds a young woman entering a gate to the past. Just as everything seems like a dream, she is torn apart between the time periods as a dark mystery begins to hunt her. Over there, the guy standing next to Silla Black. He manages a lot of girls. Number three. We have to do a project about the moon landing. What did those boys not come back from that? They did. Belfast is a coming-of-age comedy drama film written and directed by Kenneth Branagh and stars Catriona Balfi, Judy Dench, Jamie Dornan, and Ciaran Hines. Coming directly from its director's past, passion and heart, Belfast showcases how when everything crumbles and is shaken up, there are some things that remain rock solid. Following a nine-year-old boy who must chart his way through adulthood, the film demonstrates that when even solid communities break, music, love, and the magic of the movies always brighten one's life. If they did get there, they did get to the moon. It's not what it says here. God doesn't like it. And I watched every night, too, that they were up there. And how did I never see Mike Collins in the mothership doing his orbit? Number two. And when her secret finds its way out, and it will, it'll be the death of you. Just give me a name. No Time to Die is a spy film directed by Kerry Joji Fukunaga and stars Daniel Craig, Rami Malek, Leah Sado, Lashana Lynch, Anna de Armas, and Christoph Waltz. James Bond is back in the final adventure of beloved super spy representative Daniel Craig. Bringing all loose ends together in one spectacular finale, 007 finds himself once again up against the faceless Spectre organization, caught between his duties and the only woman he ever loved. But a new enemy awaits, lurking in the dark. I didn't need to kill you. I'd already broken you. I wanted to give you an empty world, like the one you gave me. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Everything that I have done is to protect you. All right, to make things right. <laughs> You're insane. No, please. <laughs> Who were they for? Me. You. Do you mean to wear? Yeah. On your feet? Uh, no. Pretty, I'm gonna pierce me nipples and swing them around my tits. Yeah, on my feet. But you can tell everything from the eyes. Happy, sad, everything. Look. Yes. I don't know. Number one. Exactly am I. You? You're Anthony. Anthony. The Father is a drama film directed by Florian Zeller and stars Anthony Hopkins, Olivia Coleman, Mark Gettis, Imogen Poots, and Olivia Williams. Delivering one of Hopkins' greatest performances in a role that is built upon losing your mind. The Father is the strikingly believable conception of what it's like to live as someone with dementia. When Anthony's memory is slowly eaten away, his daughter is confronted with the fact that her father is not who she once knew anymore. Yes, until she goes to live in Paris. No, Dad, why do you keep going on about Paris? You told me. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, Anne, you told me the other day. Have you forgotten? She's forgotten. <laughs> Paris. They don't even speak English there. Do you agree with our list? please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.